Well, we saw what happened in 2008, 2009. The leaderships of the two unions were at odds. And after a, a, a really highly contentious period, the phase one uh, relationship broke down. And so for the first time in nearly 30 years, SAG and AFTRA had separate negotiations of the TV theatrical contract and the Exhibit A contract on the AFTRA side. And that caused a really very tough period in a whole lot of respects. The separate negotiations were, were, were bad unto themselves, but it also created a situation where you literally had the two unions at odds, and uh, specifically with Screen Actors Guild, uh, you had a situation where our dues money was being used to effectively attack our sister union. That made a lot of people intensely uncomfortable, and that plays right into the hands of our employers. The only way to make sure that we have maximum bargaining strength, the only way to make sure that we cannot be divided at that bargaining table where it is so crucial that we speak with one voice is to become one union. And there are so many benefits that, that flow from that beyond the bargaining strength. But that's the foundation. That is what provides our ability to do everything good that a labor union can do. It's what we are here for. It's why we were created, to go to our employers with maximum strength so we can get ourselves protected. And if you have two institutions, even if there are all the agreements in the world to make nice and do things together, and sometimes they work great, but boy, when they don't, you are in trouble. That is a vulnerability that we would be stupid to continue with. So I urge you to understand that even though we have these joint bargaining agreements, there's such a duplication of resources. There is such a waste of focus of our time and energy as members and as leaders of members. It is a losing proposition all the way around. We've got to become one union, and that's the way to strength. Thank you.